The mass section of JE mains is not about perfection. It's about strategy. In the next 60 days, we are laser focused on one achievable target, 40 marks. That's your ticket to 99 percentile. Now the question arises, how to get those 40 marks? What are the topics that I need to choose? What should be my weekly strategy? What to do on a day-to-day -day basis? How to analyze this and get there? Don't worry, I'm going to go in each one of these areas one by one. Let us start with the first one. How to get the 10 questions right? See now, in order to get 10 questions right, a very good strategy would be to do partial preparation of 15 questions per topic. Yes, I'm recommending that and not recommending all 25 questions per topic, that is the whole syllabus, because in the limited amount of time that we have, it might not be possible to develop the kind of expertise that is required to solve difficult level of JE questions that are there in mathematics exam compared to physics and chemistry. So how to choose those 15 questions in order to get 10 questions right? See, in general, you should understand the structure of the exam that algebra will have nine questions. Calculus will have four plus four questions. Quadrant geometry will have four questions. Vectors in 3D will have four questions again. And trigonometry largely will have one question. So now what you should do is first analyze yourself and understand what are your topics of strength out of these. Let us say that I have a student who has done a lot of effort in class 12. So probably the calculus is strong. So then I should choose calculus, coordinate geometry. Why? Because coordinate geometry have two chapters linked in calculus. That is the area differential equation where lots of concepts of coordinate geometry will get used up. Like this, idea is to develop a cluster of topics that are largely interrelated at the level of JE mains exam. Now let us say that I am one of those students who is not very good with calculus, then I should probably choose coordinate geometry, vectors in 3D and some topics from algebra. And you can see that this combination will make me reach the ideal score of 15 questions in the exam. Once you have done that, now you have chosen the topics of your strength, cross map with high British topics. Now in order to do that, I have attached a PDF along with this description of this video that will tell you topic by topic British. I will not go into that much of detail in this video, but you can download that and make a custom 15 questions word topic material for you. These are the topics that I'm going to prepare. Now, a lot of you might have this question, sir, in JE means there are questions which are interrelated in themselves. So if you prepare one topic, how will you be able to attempt those questions which are based on mixed con concepts? Now, first understand that connections are not everything getting connected to everything. More connections are there in a cluster. So chances of something getting connected in calculus is more compared to it getting connected with algebra or geometry. And again, for making those connections, you don't need expertise in those topics. What you fundamentally need is an NCRT level knowledge of all the topics. And I hope that is a fair assumption to make. Now, once you have cleared that up, yes, these 15 questions were topic will get me where I want to be. The idea is basically how to have a weekly strategy into place so that everything is getting done. Now, based on what amount of time you're allocating for preparation on a weekly basis. So there are three strategies students generally use. One, to have two days for mathematics, two days for physics, two days for chemistry. So maximum in two days in a week, I will be able to do two topics. Let us say that we have nine weeks. So easily I can do 15 to 16 topics. Second, there are students who think that no sir, I will do two subjects in a day. In that manner, you can divide your day into two parts and then again allocate time accordingly. Idea of doing the number of topics in a week largely remains same. You can also do all the three subjects in the same day. But again, you will have to allocate time accordingly. Now, this is probably a matter of your preference rather than a matter of strategy. The large idea is that whatever weekly targets we are setting, that needs to be satisfied. Now, let's come to the most critical question. That is, what should be my daily target? How should I spend a day? Because if a day is getting spent in the right manner, only then can you expect tangible result in the exam hall. Now, first understand that on a daily basis, you need to divide your day into two, three parts. The first part is revision. According to me, you should have some short notes in this point of time that you should start your revision with. So ideally, I will want to do at least one level of revision in a week if possible. So in two days of my mathematics, I can do half one day, half another day. Ideally, it should be whole syllabus revision in one day and then probably even better would be all physics, chemistry, mathematics happening in the same day. But this you can't do to start with now. If you have been doing, it is simpler to do. If you have not been doing, focus on whatever cumulative revision you can do. So let us say that I have done one topic, I will start doing one topic revision daily. I have done two, I will add that one more and keep on doing on a daily basis. 
once you have given two hours to the revision the next hours of your day could go into solving pyqs that are categorized into problem types now we have made a separate series for that in which i have gone into the detail of every topic divided all the questions that were asked in previous year into problem categories and solve them so what you should understand is for solving pyqs what are the strategies we are using because same question might or might not get repeated both those strategies are definitely going to get repeated so if you have a list of those strategies once you have done a topic and if you keep revising that you will have 500 600 strategies in your mind before you go for your je exam and that will largely ensure you get a 99 percentile score in your exam now once you have done this it would be a good strategy to write a small chapter by test towards the end of the day and see what was the effectivity of the day now once done all of these and made high impact notes that is the strategy that we discussed about it is very important i am repeating it to revise it cumulatively daily so this sums up what you do in a day now there is a very big if that we if we do and it is largely going to benefit us a lot is a weekly syllabus full syllabus test so most of the students will keep writing part test i will highly recommend that you write at least two full syllabus test on a weekly basis and then analyze them nicely and understand from where are you gaining marks from where are you not gaining marks see we will all have different kinds of emotions like this is my strong topic this is my weak topic but if you really write the paper you will understand what kind of questions are getting asked from which topic and will give you a more data oriented analysis that what are the easier and the low hanging fruit that i can pick up easily so probably i will change my plan prepare those topics first and then move on to my plan later so to sum up i have told about few important strategies that you can use the first most important idea was in order to get 99 percentile all i require is 10 questions correct in the exam that is 40 marks in order to get 40 marks i can prepare for 15 questions worth topic and for doing that i need to have a cluster based approach into place based on my strength and weakness it cannot be a general strategy i should divide this into weekly targets and every weekly target should eventually be divided into daily target that needs to be tracked pyqs and revision play a very important role along with test to understand deeply what kind of questions are getting us and how much I am able to do and how to change the strategies I move further. So this isn't about scoring or solving every problem. It's about scoring 40 marks. Focus on the clusters. Adhere to your daily timetable. Master your time in test. Start implementing these strategies and you will see that in no time you are scoring 99 percentile.